Ah, mornings are a bit stressful for me. I wish I could be more like you. Oh, I'm all right. Do yourself up. Don't dress me. Dress me. I... Look smart for the people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good on the mornings. This whole kind of getting ready for this stresses me out. Yeah, it does. Plane. Plane. Because I kind of, I have to get all the filming stuff ready and I have to do my last bits of research so I know what we're going to do for the day. And then Sean saying, turn this on and... <laughs> the toilet <laughs> and Dylan wants seen to and then something happens and it gets a bit uh, in my head spaghetti like in his head mm. but we're here and smiling and we're at the top of the Hatton flight well we're about 300 meters away from the top of the Hatton flight yes. there's some boats moored near it and I don't like mooring near boats so we're a little bit further back where it's quieter if you don't know the Hatton flight uh, built in 1799 it was part of the Warwick and Birmingham Canal when it was built, and it was uh, narrow locks. But when it turned into the Grand Union Canal in 1929, when all the canal companies got together and had this like super highway down to London, they thought, we need to modernise this. So they built double locks. So the locks we're going down today are the new, I say new, opened in 1934, double locks. That is new quite in, new in, for canal, in canal terms, that is quite new. Uh, we're going to go down the double locks. You'll be able to see the old locks at the side of them, on some of them. Not sure how far we're going to get today. Oh, we might just get to the cafe at lock number one there. <laughs> I could do with a fry-up, to be honest, couldn't you? Yeah. I could right do with a fry-up. Uh, so we're going to do the locks. We're going to give you a bit of history on the locks and how locks work and stuff. So if you're interested in like the lock side of things, uh, just click the link down below and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications icon and you'll get notifications of new videos as well. <sighs> Should we go? I'm knackered already. I know, come on, let's go. Come on. So these paddles, the bottom gate paddles, are a bit different to what we're used to. I've not seen this type of design before, and they're really tough. <laughs> I mean, they're not really tough. We're on the third lock, and luckily I only have to open one side. Sean can get in one side, so I only have to open one paddle. <sighs> the thing is, you have to wind it probably about five times more than you would on the gates that we're used to. They're a bit tough. Lock 42, well this is actually the fifth lock, so we're nearly a quarter of the way through it. The sun keeps making an appearance, oh this is a tough one, and then it looks like it's going to rain the next minute. I'll tell you what, it gets you warm does this. <laughs> So you can see the old single lock, that's the original lock that was built back when the Warwick Birmingham Canal was built in 1799. And these are the new locks, this is the double lock that was built in the early 1930s. It reminds me a bit of the Trent and Mersey, you know the Cheshire locks or Heartbreak Hill as it's called, where Thomas Telford came in and built a second single lock 
to keep up with the traffic. Because the railways and roads were taking over at that time, so the canals had to do something to try and beat the competition, but fortunately it wasn't to be. A couple of hundred years ago, this wharf would have been packed with blacksmiths and carpenters and as well as kind of repairing boats that have been making lock gates, oak lock gates for the canals. And then the stables, of course for the horses pulling the boats, that's where they'd have been getting new shoes and looked after and rested before the next cargo was on its way. Back in 1929, when they decided to build the double locks on the Hatton Fly, they actually kept the old single locks open so that trade could continue. Coal going up to the black country to feed the power stations and the factories. So they needed to keep trade moving and they kept the single locks open. They drafted in over a thousand men, all from the local area to help build these double locks. And if you remember the 1920s, 1930s was the time of the Great Depression, so that would have been quite a boost for this area back then. These bricks are sometimes stones that you get in the ground at locks, called heel grips. And when you're pushing a, a lock gate, particularly a stubborn lock gate, these make it a little bit easier to get some grip and really put your back into pushing it. Some people ask why it's always me that does the locks and Sean that does the driving. It kind of helps me mind getting off the boat, being active, really active, and I like to be in shape as well. And if I'm in shape, I feel more confident. And if I feel more confident in my body, I kind of feel more confident in my mind. It doesn't get rid of all the kind of dark thoughts and everything all together, but I think it makes a big difference. And Sean goes mad because he wants to do some of the locks sometimes, but I'm just kind of out there getting on with it. Another thing I get asked a lot is, has moving on the boat improved my mental health? Because right at the beginning of the journey, that's what it was for. It was supposed to be saving my mental health. Do you know what? It hasn't. It hasn't really made that much difference to my mental health. Watch for the bang. There you go. It's different. The quality of life is a lot better. And I don't have the stresses of work and the kind of things that triggered me back in the days when we lived in the house and worked. But there's still things that trigger me now, things like generators, which you know about. Worrying about moorings, all the setup on the morning for filming and everything. But overall, would I change anything? Nah.
30, which means we've done how many? 16, <laughs> I could never count. Uh, 16 down and five to go. My hands are red raw. I need some gloves like Penelope Pit Stop. You remember the, uh, <laughs> when he kidding? Finally, <laughs> lock 26. So we started at lock 46. Uh, count backwards, that's 21 locks. Uh, about 45 or a bit meters, I think that we've come down. And uh, we're just about to go into Warwick. We've got the Saltersford Arm just ahead of us. Uh, we're not going down there. We're gonna look for a mooring uh, just as we kind of bear left from Saltersford Arm, just uh, as we go into Warwick. Sorry, that was the lock gate move in. <laughs> Uh, it's been tough, it's taken us 10, 11, 12, 1, about four hours, which is not that bad to say that every single lock has been set against us except this one uh, after the British Waterways boat, uh, CRT boat, came up the other side on lock 27. Uh, but it's not been too bad. I am absolutely knackered. I'm ready for some dinner and my hands are red raw. That's what comes with boating, isn't it? How does it feel to have done all the hat and locks? Yay! We set off from Hatton at half past nine this morning. Yes. 21 locks later and only about three mile. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we're in Warwick, only just in Warwick. The sign is there that says, welcome to Warwick. And we're like 10 feet in. So we're in just in Warwick. Just, I'm going to go around looking for her later on. <laughs> uh, absolutely shattered, 21 locks. Uh, so we're going to go in, have something to eat, put the feet up. And tomorrow we're going to go into Leamington Spa. It's a different story for a different day. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can show your appreciation, please, by subscribing to the channel. That means a lot to us. Hit the bell if you'd like a YouTube to let you know every time we release a new vlog. Even better, join us as either a Patreon, there's a link up there, or you can join us as a member on the YouTube channel. Uh, there's a link on the home page. Any comments or questions or feedback, you know what to do. Drop them in the comment section and we try to answer every single one. Take care of yourselves. I need to get my feet up. Oh, my feet. They're killing me. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.